Hello folks, my name is Dimitri Lylan and I'm a program manager on the .NET team. Today I'm going to show you .NET Hard Reload, a brand new technology that we're working on that hopefully will make you more productive. Let me explain exactly what I mean by that. Before Hard Reload, if you had a small change in your application, some code that you wanted to modify while the app was already running, whether that's a desktop app or a web app, you often had to stop your application, make the code changes, rebuild, redeploy, restart, and get back to where you were before. Now this can be very expensive, especially for larger applications, or it could just be less productive. Every time you have to stop and restart, you kind of get out of the groove of coding. So with Hard Reload for .NET, we're hoping to help you in many cases not need to restart your application. You can simply open up the code, make the code change, use the new Hard Reload button to apply that code change to your running desktop, mobile, or web app, and keep going. If we're successful, hopefully we save you time. Let me show you exactly what this means for the desktop application by doing some demos. Let's jump right into it. Before I go ahead and jump into showing you how Hard Reload works itself, let's talk about the user interface that you have to understand before you can use the feature. First of all, there's a new Hot Reload button. This button is right up here in the user interface, and this button next to continue while the app is running will be enabled when Hot Reload is available. Once Hot Reload is available, you can click the little drop down to actually get a couple of more options. You can restart the applications that are being Hot Reloaded. That's in order to apply changes that maybe you can't apply at runtime, and there are unfortunately sometimes changes that we cannot apply at runtime, but if, as long as it's valid code, restarting will do it for you. The Hot Reload button, of course, itself can be pressed here or on the drop down. You never have to press the drop down to click Hot Reload, it's just you can click on it and it'll work. But then we have this really cool setting that I know many people have asked for, and that's Hard Reload on File Save. Once enabled, you can simply hit Control S to save your code, and that will apply a Hard Reload. And we're going to use that during the demo, so we just have to click the button less. I really like this feature. So let's go ahead and enable Hard Reload on File Save. All right, that's done. As you can see, now this has a little checkbox. And let's take a look at my sample application. Here I have a very simple WPF photo viewer demo. So today's demos are all about desktop. We have other videos that show you the web scenario as well. But let's take a look at this desktop app. I have it running right now, and it's quite a simple app. It's a photo viewer. It's available in WPF samples, so you can download it and see the code that I'm about to show you. And the app has a bunch of built-in pictures, and when you click on them, it opens up an editor. And the editor has some buttons, crop, rotate, and black and white. So I'm going to go ahead and try to click on these buttons but nothing will happen. And that's because, well, I've commented the code out. I cheated. Let's go take a look at the code itself. Here's a bunch of code that we could have written by hand. And I truly mean that because uncommenting code to Visual Studio is the same as if I typed the code. But I'm not going to make you watch me type a lot of code. This is just a demo of how to load. So I'm just going to go ahead and once again kind of cheat and just uncomment a bunch of code that I've commented out before I did my build. So none of this was built into the original executable. And now we're going to patch the executable from memory simply by pressing Control Save. Once I do that, Hard Reload will apply the changes. Let's go switch back to my application, click Rotate, I'm sorry, <laughs> Crop, click Rotate, click Black and White. All of that code is not being executed. I'm going to prove it to you by going back to the code, hitting a, putting a breakpoint into the Black and White. Let's go back here, click Black and White again, and as you see, I've hit the breakpoint. Now, all of this code could be changed, could be modified, could have not been here at all if you just started coding and it would have all worked with Hot Reload. Isn't that very cool? I hope you liked the first demo, but I want to show you one more demo before we end this video. This demo is of the Calculator app. Once again, another app that's part of WPF samples. And here I'm going to use the same trick. I'm going to do a lot of code on commenting. But I want to point something out first. This app is running using no debugger. That means I press Control 5 in Visual Studio and the app started really quickly. But guess what? We have Hard Reload available. This is something that's available only to .NET 6 applications. So if you're targeting .NET 6, you can actually use in many cases Hard Reload without the debugger. This works for desktop applications, web application, console. Unfortunately, there's still some edges. It won't work in the first release for a .NET MAUI or WinUI app, but we're going to work on that in the future. 
So for now, it's a WPF app. It should work just great. So let's go ahead and start hot reloading. Here, I've done a lot of damage. I've uncommented a lot of code. Let's go take a look at what I did. First of all, there was this big method called private void process operation, and it took a string value. I'm going to go ahead and comment this one back in. So I'm going to select it. And let's show you how much code I would have shown you if I typed it all. I have a really, you know, first of all, like I have a new method. I have a big switch statement. I have quite a few values in your switch statements, different kind of things that it can do, different kind of cases, and it goes on and on and on. So all of that is brand new code. And now that that's code is available, there's two more places where that code is dependent on. It's dependent on in the button click here. Let's go ahead and bring that back. And it also has a dependency in this on Windows key down event. So I'm going to go ahead and comment that code back in. But let's go back to the app for a second. Before I hit magic save button, let's start typing. I can type 555, I can hit plus, I can type 333, I can hit equals to, but this is just behaving very weirdly, right? I'm not getting any of the mathematical operations to show. It's not doing equals, like it's definitely a broken app. And we're going to fix it just by doing hot reload. In fact, let me just click the button. I've never shown you hitting the actual button. Same as hitting save. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And again, no debugger needed. I'm going to go back in here and let's do 2 plus 2 equals. And there you go. It caught up with the numbers. Let's, uh, let's clear that up and let's do something simple. Let's do time 5 times 5. And there you go. We've got 25. So as you see, this calculator is back in functional order simply by making all the code changes here in Visual Studio, even without the debugger. So that's it for my demos. I hope it inspires you to go try the feature. We definitely want to hear from you. So if you enjoy it, if you have problems, whatever it is, please let us know for Visual Studio feedback. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.